Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And these are the Engineer PZ56 screw extraction slip joint pliers. They're under $20, solid Japanese quality, quality materials, quality design, excellent engineering. You can see that, the PZ56 made in Japan. And they have that excellent um, bite for screw extraction. So if you don't have a screw extraction plier set, here's a good one to start with. Now there are others, Snap-on in their kind of truncated needle nose of their pistol grip. If you wanna drop a few bucks, they're great. Um, there are a handful by the Vampire Corporation. This one is kind of that, um, that vice grip design, but it also has a screw extraction at the front end. Vampire also makes a couple of others, including this needle nose. This is actually one of my favorites um, right here for a quality screw extraction plus heavy duty needle nose plier. There's this guy here. It's their big kind of multi uh, plier or lineman plier that has a great big, very aggressive screw extraction for the giant stuff. But Oh, and, and of course, Knipex in their amazing twin grip. Also put a screw extraction on the front end. And you can use it for other things besides screw extraction, but it does work for that. But all of those cost more than 20 bucks each. So here is one under 20 bucks. Nice, simple design. First of all, you got a highly functional um, slip joint. This is comparing it to one of my favorite snap-on slip joints. This is the 46 ACF. There is, a, I think, maybe an update to this, but it's a triple joint, heavy duty. I mean, look at the size difference in the thickness. Um, I have these uh, all over the place. They're just great. Um, good, fast uh, slip joint plier for a lot of work but it doesn't have screw extraction. Let me show you how that compares. So here is that engineer. And what I can do, I've got a handful of different kinds of screws, different sizes of screws, but basically you can easily grab the screw with that screw extraction nose on it and spin it until you know, the screw comes out or you can get a different fastener in it or a different driver in it. But you can see that's that's raising up, no problem there. This one's all stripped out, small. I can easily grind my way through it till I can pull that out of the wood um, or metal. It works with all kinds of things. Um, here is a slotted. Slotteds are notorious for getting pretty bunged up, especially the smaller ones, um, no problem whatsoever. Now, let me grab some with these. You know, how does that work? Here's a, a little round-headed one. Whoop, whoop. Pushing really hard, nope. Ain't gonna do it, try this guy. Nope, even this one, you know, is hard. I'm not really able to turn it, and of course those, no way. So a screw extraction plier is its own thing and it works really well. So I can grab that one, grab that one. I can dig down, even though this is, if you look, that's, that's flush with the wood, I can still dig in and get it going. Whoop, look at that, there we go. Uh, here's another little longer one. These are truly the kind of pliers that pay for themselves instantly, you know, with one job. But I've got a small, or I've got a Phillips uh, machine head here, wedged all the way in, and a larger one. That larger one, I'm gonna go to a larger grip here with the slotted, or with the uh, slip joint, and work my way through this. And get this guy out of here. There we go, you can see I can pull that up. What about this guy? Well, I might not be able to grab it, or I might, really pushing hard. If I can't, what I may need to do is go in 
and just give myself a little bit of room. So what do I got? I've got my chisel here, a little snap-on chisel, and I can dig out just enough maybe to get this thing spinning on one, one side and then the other. All I need to do is be able to grab a little bit of that. Normally I wouldn't even bother thinking about trying to do it with a regular set. I mean, I can't, I can't grab anything with those. So here I go. I'm gonna go in and see if I can grab it. Maybe you can watch. I'm gonna grab by the corners. No, nope, by the, grab that. Oh, there we go. Hard to see, but no magic here. Look at that, you can see it's coming out. Now I can grab it from any, any position and spin that out. So, there you go, the Engineer PZ56 pliers that are, have the screw extraction capability, nice slip joint, simple design. If you don't have any screw extraction pliers, here is a great starting point. And with that, dock out.